Senator Richard Blumenthal says the war in Ukraine is at a turning point and it is essential for the U.S. to increase aid. As CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports, Blumenthal joined a bipartisan group of senators who secretly traveled to Ukraine for the weekend. We cannot allow Ukrainians to bleed to death or starve and freeze to defeat. Senator Blumenthal, speaking in Hartford, joined by Ukrainian Americans after his weekend trip to Kyiv, where he and others, including Republican Lindsey Graham, traveled secretly to meet with President Zelensky. He's very clear-eyed about this war, but he's also deeply emotional about the losses that his country has suffered. Tears come to his eyes when he talks about the deaths and injuries. Blumenthal says Ukraine needs Western tanks, armored vehicles, and weapons systems to counter an expected Russian surge as the February 24th one-year anniversary approaches. Your money is not charity. Zelensky himself made the pitch for more aid to Congress in December and found some legislators hesitant to go beyond the $50 billion already committed. We're not asking for a blank check. We're asking for a big check, but with accountability and oversight. A spokesman for the Ukrainian Congress Committee of America senses momentum for Ukraine as the invasion anniversary nears. Russia wants the world to be tired and not help Ukraine, but the world is getting tired in the way of, okay, we, we've gone through this long enough. We're, we're now got, going to first supply Ukraine with the right weapons, and secondly, we're going to punish Russia more and more until it stops doing all of this. Blumenthal says he sensed Ukrainian resolve is strong, and it's in U.S. interest to supply what they need to win. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Germany is also under intense pressure to increase aid to Ukraine, and it appears it is ready to allow Poland and other countries to send German-made Leopard 2 battle tanks to the war-torn country.